Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the Pardeo Arafi swim bag. This is $36.99 on Amazon. Some of the cool things about this bag is it's bigger than a cinch bag. One of these where it has the thin straps and you cinch it up like so. But yet it's smaller than my big Speedo bag, which you guys can learn about that up there. But it's smaller than that, which makes it a little bit more convenient. The thing I like about this over a cinch sack that you can use for smaller amounts of items is that it has a really big, thick, comfortable strap. Whereas the cinch sack has really thin straps and if you were to put stuff in it that's a little heavy like a water bottle, a towel, it can dig into your shoulders and it really doesn't feel good. So this is a lot more comfortable. And the single strap is not bad. It seals over one shoulder and I usually carry my Speedo bag that has two straps with only one strap so this really wasn't any different and I didn't mind it at all. And it's nice and thick and really comfortable. It has four main pockets. One here in the back that opens up the whole back of the bag. And I just have my snorkel in here because it actually fits really well down the length of the bag. Here in the middle it has another big pocket that also opens up to the whole length of the bag. And I have my Arena Power Fins in here. So it has the big main pocket in here, but then it also has a mesh here on the side that you can use to separate your things. And then it also has another one on the other side of the pocket. And then down near the front, the third pocket, Again, unzips all the way across the bag. And in here I have some wristbands in case I meet any of you guys. I always have those with me. And then I have just have my brush and then my fitness agility paddles. And then I also put my water bottle in here, but I didn't have it today. I find that since I have that really big Jolin water bottle, it doesn't fit into this side mesh pocket very well, especially because it squishes a little bit. So it's just more secure in the zipper pocket. The stock photo, which I will have up on the screen, shows that they put flip-flops into this pocket. I haven't packed flip-flops in here yet, but I like to bring them, so that's probably what I'll do if I ever bring flip-flops with me. And then the very front pocket here unzips again, and then this is the waterproof pocket, so it doesn't have mesh on any of the sides. So this is where you would put your swimsuit cap and goggles. So in here, I just have um, some extra caps, my goggles, more goggles, and yes, these are the new Speedo EVs. Review is coming soon. I have my new swimsuit. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this design. This is the new suit that I got from Amanzi. I posted about it on my Instagram. You guys can go follow me there. It's Swim Life Guru. In here, it's just pretty big and wide open, and it does have some small inside pockets that you can separate things with. So yeah, that's in all the pockets of this bag. I'm gonna pack this up and show you guys what happens when you kind of stuff it full. So I got a towel here, stiff that in there, put my fins back in here. As you guys can see, when you start to put more stuff in it, it gets a little awkward to zip up. You kind of have to turn it sideways. Once the rest of the bag is really full, I find that there isn't as much room in this front pocket. So if I were to put all of my stuff in here, you know, see it kind of squishes out and then it also is hard to zip so I gotta set it down and kind of hold the stuff in there. I don't usually pack extra cap and extra goggles. I'm mostly showing that for the fact that if you pack this for a swim meet you're definitely gonna bring multiple team caps, racing suits, your warm-up suit, extra goggles, or at least that's what I do because I'm a little over prepared and I like psych myself out for meets. I have to have like every extra item with me that I have. I'm just showing that if I were to have a bunch of extras, it is a little hard to fill up that pocket, especially when you're at a swim meet, you're gonna have multiple towels. I only put one in here, but usually I do bring more than that. So it would just stuff it a little bit too full. One of the photos on their Amazon product does show that this bottom pocket right here is supposed to be used for your dry items, like your phone, your keys, and or wallet to keep everything dry in there. But I'm one of those people who uses this, the pocket that's supposed to keep things dry for my wet things so that none of the wet gets into the rest of my bag. In my head, putting all the wet stuff in there, it keeps the wet in so it doesn't get your towels wet or your clothes wet if you put your clothes in your bag. So that's just how I use it, even though apparently you're not supposed to use it for that. You don't have to use the swim bag just the way that it says to. You bought the swim bag, do whatever the heck you want to do with it. One of the pools I swim at in the summer has a half mile walk to the pool and whether I was walking or riding a scooter, I found that once I got to the pool, I had my towels in it, my water bottle in it, and when I got to the pool, the zippers, I think it was this middle zipper, 
slowly came unzipped to about here, to about halfway. And I think if I had kept walking and I hadn't noticed it, the zipper would have just slowly opened more and more and more. And it did happen more than once. This wasn't just a one-time thing. And I compared it to the zippers on my Speedo bag and they are a lot smaller, so I feel like they could break too. So you just have to be a little careful with that. If you notice it unzipping, be gentle with the zippers. So that's the only thing I really didn't like about this bag. I just really wish it had more heavy-duty zippers. Is this bag hot or not? For me, it didn't really work just because I like to bring my life with me in my swim bag and this just wasn't big enough for me, but I know a lot of my teammates don't like to bring everything with them, so this bag would work well for them. It would work well for any of you guys watching who don't bring everything with them. And it is a great bag, so I would recommend it to you guys just based on how you like to pack your bag and based on what you like to bring with you. It really is a great alternative to the cinch bags because it is a lot more comfortable. This also doesn't just have to be a swim bag, it could be used for hiking, you could bring it kayaking with you. I mean, if you're going to the pool just to play with friends and you don't want to bring your whole swim bag, you could bring this and just put a towel in like your suit and goggles and cap and that way you don't have everything in it. I'm definitely going to use it again when I do things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! Fan. <laughs> Gotta turn the fan off. Hot or not on the Pardero... Pard... <laughs> Try that again. Hot or not on the Pardero... I did it again! <laughs> Hot or not on the Pardeo Aerofy swim bag. <gasps> yes, I got it. <laughs> a cinch sack. Like this. That's upside down. One of the photos on Amazon just... Just... More comfortable... Also, also, also.